Hi, my name is Cosimo Pecchioli and I'm with Alfa Laval Data Center Schooling Solutions. And today, because you requested it, we will talk about the main heat transfer area in a plate and frame heat exchanger. The main heat transfer area is this part contained between the two distribution area. And it's fundamental that the entire area is covered by fluid, both in the hot and the cold side. You have many different patterns the main two are what is called high theta and low theta. But let's have a look in details about what we mean with these two definitions. The heat transfer area of a plate can have many patterns pressed into its surface depending on the duty. However, the most common type is the chevron pattern. There are two commonly used chevron angles which are referred to as high or low theta. Theta refers to the openness of this angle. A wide angle plate is a high theta plate, whereas a low angle plate is a low theta plate. When two high theta plates are placed together, more contacts are formed in the channel than when two low theta plates are placed together. The higher number of contact points force the fluid to take a much harder path through the channel. This causes more turbulence and shear stress. Both promote higher heat transfer, but it comes at the cost of pressure drop. Of course, you can mix the thetas and come to a number of contact points between the high and the low extremes. In a design, we want to use up as much of the allowed pressure drop of, as possible. It is common that in a plate pack we will use a mix of thetas in order to give the customer the most efficient heat exchanger possible. The placement of high, low and mixed channels in a plate pack is also a consideration when utilizing the available pressure drop. Finding the right design for your application is more complex than just high theta and low theta. Another key aspect is the pressing depth. Alpha Laval generally has three pressing depths depending on the size and the model. Let's have a look at that. Naturally, the pressing depth influences the size of the channels, which in turn determines what kind and size of particles can pass through the heat exchanger. Obviously, this has a significant impact on the fouling rate, but it also impacts the design itself. Smaller pressing depths guarantee a higher shear stress. If you do not have large particles in your fluid, it is always preferable to use the smallest pressing depth, since a higher shear stress gives the unit more fouling resistance. It follows then that fluids with a higher number of large particles will need a larger pressing depth. You have to balance the pressing depth by understanding what kind of shear stress you can achieve with the size of the particles that you have in your fluid. As you can see, there is no size that fits all. And on top of all these options, uh, the different thetas and the pressing depth, Afaval has asymmetrical plates. Asymmetrical plates are designed to solve one of the most common problems in plate and frame heat exchangers, the fact that the two sides preferably should have the same flow rate. If you have different flow rates in the two sides, you can actually take advantage of the asymmetrical plates and have a shear stress which is good on both sides. So, in conclusion, when you design a heat exchanger, you always try to minimize the heat transfer area because that means that the unit is less expensive. But with all these options, it's not as straightforward as it seems. The other parameters of the design, like plate thickness, plate material, thermal length, fluid properties, available flow rate on both sides, and how corrosive your fluid is, they have to be taken into consideration. My suggestion is to communicate with your vendor to determine what is the best possible design for the challenges that you will face over the years. If you come to your vendor with all the parameters preset, you might be missing the opportunity to design a heat exchanger which is less expensive and more performing. My advice is to involve your vendor early in the process in order to capture all the possible options that you may not aware of. 
If you found this video interesting, please like it. And if you have any suggestion for future topics, leave a comment in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day.